Okay, so this is going to be a mid-month June reading for my Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to get into what the energies are looking like for you guys for the second half of June, all right? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. What's going on, my Scorpios in love? And this is going to be a love forecast going on my Scorpios in love for the rest of June from now until the end of June 2019 give me a love forecast and keep in mind this is a general reading if you do want a more personal reading my information will be listed below in the description box for my website that's also where you guys can purchase crystal healing jewelry or my oracle deck if you're interested in that. Scorpios from now until the end of June 2019. Alrighty. So your feelings for your person, your person's feelings towards you, the obstacle or issue that may be present, your person's actions towards you, the advice when it comes to love, and the outcome for your love life. Give me two romance angel cards for my Scorpio's love life for the rest of June 2019. From now until the end of June. One, two. All right, let's move this over a little bit. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and discuss these cards, okay? So first cards I want to talk about is this card at the bottom of the deck. I do have reconciliation. So for a lot of you Scorpios, you are having a past person that's coming back in for a lot of you guys, okay? And you guys will have a chance to discuss or clear up any sort of issues that may be present or even just... Uh, get to a place to where you guys can finally speak to each other, especially if there has been a lot of things blocking you guys from really communicating, whether that's fear of the relationship not working out or just personal issues or anything of that sort. But what I am seeing here as well, we do have free yourself and unrequited love. And I am seeing that a lot of you guys are in a headspace to where you may feel as if, you know, your love life is really not under your control. Or for some of you guys, you could have a lot of things that are spiraling out of control in other parts of your life and it may be affecting your love life. Um, but we're unrequited love for some of you guys. You make sure that your mindset is not affecting the way that your connection goes because it could cause an unrequited love situation where one person is feeling stronger than the other person. Okay, however that ends up happening, whether you're the one who cares more than the other person or vice versa. But let's go ahead and talk about these cards that we pulled. So the first card is representing your feelings for your person. And I do have the sun card. And with this, you could be feeling a sense of happiness or you could be in a space of realizing um, that this person could make you very, very happy. For some of you guys as well, you could be in a space of realizing that this person may be pregnant. For some of you guys, for others of you, this could be um, you just in a space where you realize that you, this person really could bring something different to the table and for some of you guys you could be in a headspace of feeling as if like you don't know what to do like again it's this energy of you guys being trapped in your own mind or feeling as if like things are out of your control here okay and for some of you guys i feel as if again there's some sort of reconciliation that's coming in for some of you guys as well i feel like there is some decision that's going to be made but what I have for your person's feelings for you, I do have the Ace of Wands. And with this, this person's wanting to start something new with you guys. I feel as if this person is very passionate about you. For some of you guys, they have a very strong sexual connection with you. And that's just the PG-13 version of that, okay? Um, but this person definitely does want to start something new with you. This person feels a connection with you. And they feel as if you guys just make a good... Or let me, excuse me, excuse me, let me 
get my words right. This person feels some sort of passionate connection with you. Um, and they really, like I said, want a level of success within this connection. They also want attention from you as well. They may feel as if uh, you're not giving them as much attention as you used to in the connection or they just want more attention overall but like i said they want to start something new here but the obstacle or issue that may be present for the rest of june i do have the justice card and with this there may be issues with either this being like a karmic situation for some of you guys for others of you there could be like a legal situation that comes up um also, this could be issues with like making things right or balance within the connection. Clarifying it, I do have the magician card. I feel as if there may be, yeah, there may be some issues with the, the connection being balanced due to the fact that there's issues with communication here. So like I said, make sure that you guys are communicating better. Also, making sure that there's like no deception going on here, whether it's on your part or the cross watcher, because that may also be another way. Um, also, there may be a level of avoidance as well. So that's what I'm seeing for that. All right. But moving on, what I am seeing for your person's actions towards you for the rest of the month, I do have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like they're more... I'm going to be in an in an emotional state. Oh my God, if I can really talk. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> With the Seven of Cups, they may be in a emotional space of just being confused, not really knowing what's going on with the connection. I don't really feel like this person is going to be taking much action per se. I feel like they're going to, like I said, be in the space of being a little confused about what to do next more than like taking action. They may be just focusing more on financial things until you come around, um, but they're definitely in a space of trying to figure out what's next for this connection. Yeah, and I feel like this person has a lot of anxiety about this. Like they think heavily about you, okay? But what I am seeing for the advice for you guys, I do have the seven of pentacles. And with this, you guys do need to make sure that you're evaluating the amount of effort and time that you're putting into a connection, especially if you have been a little detached. Um, for you to build a connection with someone, you have to make sure that you're investing more time. For some of you guys, you have like a negative thinking pattern when it comes to your dating life. For some of you guys as well. Um, I don't know if it's like you're waiting on some air sign to get like there's shit together, but this connection may be a little toxic as well. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it just may be you in a negative thinking space to where you are a little hesitant to really jump into a connection here. And again, if you are dealing with the air sign, that connection may be toxic because I feel like this person is just going to keep coming in and out. But what I am seeing for the outcome for this week, or not week, excuse me, for the second half of June, I do have the Page of Cups. So for a lot of you guys, you could be focusing on yourself, or you could be having somebody who's trying to come forward here. This person may be younger in energy, or this person may be a little immature emotionally, but for a lot of you guys, this could be you just focusing on yourself due to the fact that your emotions may not be consistent enough for you to keep a relationship together. Especially with the Tower card. For some of you guys, you're just going to have to focus on work. Um, due to the fact that a connection didn't work out. And you guys may have went... I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, you may be in your own space. Due to the fact that there was an opportunity. But for some of you guys, you may have been too detached. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you guys for this week. I hope that I was able to give you guys a preview of the energies you guys may be experiencing. Um, I really do wish you guys the best of luck for the rest of the second half of June. And yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.